How's it going everyone? It's Wesley with the Clarity Algo team. And in this video, we're gonna be going over the Clarity Algo Oscillator. Now, this indicator is super powerful, it's unique, and it's very precise. And we believe that once you learn how to use it, you're gonna be able to become more profitable and understand the markets better. So without further ado, let's hop right into the video. Now, before we hop into how to actually use the indicator, I wanna let you know that this is a premium indicator that Clarityago offers. So if you wanna head over to clarityago.com, if you don't already have access, you can get access to it there. Make sure to use code CLARITY20 for 20% off. And we're also gonna give you a seven day risk-free trial. So if you don't end up liking it, you get your money back 100%. So there's no reason not to head over and try it. But we are so confident that you are going to love it. We have a whole Discord community of people that are using the algo that love it, that are sharing their wins and their settings every single day single day. So we know you're going to love the indicator, but again, you have to head over to clarityago.com before you watch the rest of this video because it would be useless for you. So get the indicator, get the access, come back and let's learn how to use this thing. Also make sure to check the description and you're going to see a link to a guide that we put together on how to use the oscillator. It's very helpful because the information on the guide is a lot more condensed. There's photos. And if you're ever trading and you just need something like a cheat sheet to look at, that guide is going to be your thing. So now let's hop into how to actually use this oscillator. And of course, the very first thing we need to learn is how to actually get it on our chart. To do that, we're gonna click the indicators button at the top of our screen. We're gonna hit invite only scripts. If you don't see anything here, it's because you don't have access yet. And again, you have to go to clarityago.com to get that access. We're gonna click on Clarity Oscillator and we're gonna see it pop up right here on our screen. And there's a bunch of different features and we're gonna go over each of those now. So the very first thing I wanna talk about are the overbought and oversold zone. These zones are indicated by orange rectangles on the chart. You're gonna notice there's two different colors of orange rectangles that are possible and that will show up frequently. And that is the light orange and the dark orange rectangles. The light orange indicates a weak overbought or oversold zone and a dark orange indicates a strong overbought or oversold zone. The overbought zones are always gonna be at the top and the oversold zones are always gonna be at the bottom. Whenever the dark rectangles appear, you can almost always expect a reversal. But you know, even if the light zones are appearing, you definitely wanna keep an eye on the chart. If you're in a trade or if you're looking to get in a trade, these could be common confirmations of reversals, they could be confirmations of exits. So however you choose to use these overbought and oversold zones is up to you, but that is the premise of them. The next thing we're gonna look at is at the very, very bottom of the oscillator, we're gonna see basically a long rectangle with four different colors that are going to pop up throughout the rectangle. And these are trend confirmations and trend exhaustion confirmations. Now the light green and the light red are basically bullish and bearish trend confirmation. Now the dark red and green are going to be exhaustion points. So what that means is the bulls might be getting exhausted if we see a dark green rectangle appear and the bears might be getting exhausted if we see a dark red rectangle appear. So keep an eye on those colors. Again, these are just different confirmations that you can use, but you can choose to use this information however you want. Now, the next feature I wanna talk about is our divergence feature. Our divergence feature is very simple because we represent it simply by triangles. If you look at our screen right now, you're gonna see a couple triangles that are gonna represent areas of divergence. Now, there's gonna be two different ways that divergences are represented on our oscillator. The first is going to be a small triangle, which is gonna represent a hidden divergence divergence and a big triangle, which is going to represent just a regular divergence. So the next feature I want to talk about are the explicivity zones that we have marked on the oscillator. And these areas are marked in purple and you can see them. They don't appear very often, but when they do typically big moves follow. So I'm not saying it's always going to be a case hundred percent, but most times when the purple zones pop up, you can expect a big push to the upside or the downside. So now let's talk about the next feature and that is the trend ribbon. Basically the main thing that you see kind of weaving throughout the oscillator shown in green and red, and you're gonna see it kind of separate into zones by circles. Now, the green zones of the ribbons represent bullish market structure. So if you see the green zone appear, you're most likely gonna see bullish market structure appear on the chart above you. If you see bearish market structure appear, if you look down at your oscillator, you're probably gonna see a bearish trend ribbon. Now, the circles are basically areas where the trends are gonna start changing. So again, this is a very simple feature, but very powerful if you are a trend trader. Now, lastly, we have trend zones, and that's going to be kind of in the background. You're going to see basically on top of each other, a green and red zone. It, guys, it's very simple. Typically, whenever price is ranging within the green zone above the red zone, you're going to see bullish market structure. And when price is kind of ranging or falling in the red zone, that which is the bottom half, you're going to see bearish market structure appear. So that is the oscillator, guys. I know this is a very short, very
very quick video, but it's a very simple tool. But once you start pairing all these different things together and start using all these different confirmations with the oscillator, we believe that it's gonna take your trading to the next level. And again, it's gonna make you more profitable. You're gonna understand the markets better. And that's the main thing. Like we don't want you guys just to, you know, take these buy or sell signals or use these confirmations and hopefully make more money. Like we want you to understand the markets better. And when you understand the markets better, you're automatically gonna be more profitable. So that's what we do at Clarity Algo. We design tools to help you understand the market better. And again, if you don't already have access to the Clarity Algo, head over to clarityalgo.com. You're gonna get access to not only the oscillator and all the different features that we have, but we're also gonna get access to the main Clarity Algo indicator, which has a dozen more features that you can use. So don't miss out guys. Hopefully you have a great day. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. If you have any questions at all, leave them in the comment section below. I'm gonna do my best to reply to every single comment. If you're not a part of a Discord trading community, head over to the link in the description and join our Discord trading community. You guys, there are so many people in there that are using the indicator that are profitable with it and they share their settings, they share their wins and it's just a great time in that chat. So if you aren't a part of anything like that, make sure to head over to that and hope you guys have a great rest of your week. I'll see you in the next video.